timing from that race car. Again, wow. these race cars are so safe. You just gotta gotta give it to NASCAR once again for the safety provisions they just enforce consistently on these race cars. It's it's nice to see them walk away. We saw it coming. That top lane was gonna have a huge run. We knew the 21 was gonna get a big run. The top lane typically on the final lap gets that big push, and I and I think he he, he is the winner. First career victory. First start in his rookie season. It's Austin Hill who gets it done at Daytona, and here's what happened behind him. That's just a bad scenario. Uh, once you get turned around backwards, if he doesn't get hit in the front end, it probably doesn't get airborne, but it's just you got the other car wedging underneath the front to, to get the lift there. But it's great to see, like Chad talked about, the, the safety innovations of these cars. You know, to, to see Maya just walk right out, that's a, a great sign. And I would be anxious to see how close it was at the time of caution. Because look right here, it looks like the 16's out front. Who it had to be really close. Yep. The caution wasn't out at that point when they left our screen. So he was clearly ahead by the time he left the bottom of your monitors on television. But unfortunately, Anthony Alfredo getting into the back of the 31 and creating that issue. Wow. I mean, look at that Gosh. car. And look at the grass that's where's, flying in front of him. Where is the engine? Oh, wow. <laughs> the wow. engine's gone. I mean, th this kind of like a, a Michael Walter wreck that we saw at Bristol where it's just, or the Jeff Rupo dying, right? Kyle Larson front straightaway here at Daytona years ago. 